Hey everyone, welcome! I'm a Rough Pebble, and I am really excited to be diving into Songs of Six, version 0.66.7. This is the beta build, and uh, I'm really excited to be doing this long play sort of tutorial guide uh, for how to get your village uh, into a city and then get into a sort some of this sort of like late game. Um, uh, grand strategy elements of the game. So a lot of really cool stuff on the way here, uh, and I hope you stick with me. So let's go ahead and dive into this fantastic colony building game. Um, I'm going to be checking out all of the new stuff, uh, but we are going to skip through the, uh, skip over the campaign. So I'm pretty sure this is now like a tutorial, um, and we're just going to go with random, and we're going to do everything on hard plus here. Uh, all of this uh, edit, or all of this changes the. Um, sort of rate at which your citizens use furniture, uh, the rate at which um, other factions raid yours, the rate at which your buildings degrade, the rate at which your goods spoil, and the happiness rate, and, and sort of how often riots and things happen. Um, we are also going to leave all the scripts on. These are the events that happen in the game, and they are they can have an impact on your colony. So highly recommend sort of looking through those and if you want a, a, an easier time, you can just go ahead and click those off. Let's go ahead and dive into this though. Great. So now we have to select a species. We are going to pick one of these six and uh, we've got the Cretonians here. We've got the Dundarians, the Garthemi, the humans, the Amivias, and the Talapi. Um, each one of these have different pros and cons, as well as different initial starting uh, uh, difficulty. Uh, and we're going to go with the, the most challenging one, the Dundarians. Um, and they are a little bit different than some of these others, where as you can have nurseries and have sort of an internal population growth uh, with some of these, the Dundarians actually aren't born, and instead they pop into existence. And as such, the only way that we can really get them into our village is to have um, immigration. And so I think that'll be fun and, and kind of an interesting and challenging uh, take on the game. We'll go ahead and start with them. This does not preclude you from getting any of these other species later in the, in the game. So really don't have to stress too much outside of just like, you know, what, what do you want to start with? Um, we can also... Uh, begin the game with some of these titles. Um, you get these as you sort of win and and uh, do certain tasks in the game, but we're going to just raw dog it and go without any of the titles here ourselves. Cool. All right, yeah, we're good. We don't need that. Choose map type. Um, we're going to go with one that has a pretty good, yeah, land to um, water ratio. I think that should be pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that'll be that'll be good here. And with that, we can just go ahead and dive into it. The latitude just sort of adjusts where the cold and the temperate and warm regions are. Uh, and we'll just start with just in the middle and a random seed here. Um, here we want to find a good location uh, for our village. A few things you want to take into account are the climate. So when I scroll over a patch of land here, we can see that here the uh, climate is temperate. Um, if we go up here, the climate is still temperate uh, and cold up here. Um, in the temperate regions, it suggests that we maybe go for a cold region because our Dundarians like the cold. Um, but again, I'm not particularly wedded to um, the Dundarians. So um, I'm, or, you know, and, or nor am I wedded to only having Dundarians in our city. Uh, we could definitely get different um, different species to join up with us as well, and I think that would be just fine. Uh, as such, I'm probably going to go for a more temperate region, though some of these places are really great with the amount of gems and coal and stone that you can get. Um, okay. Uh, and I'm going to re-roll a couple more times. A few more things that you might want to pay attention to as you look for a place yourself, if you're if you're playing. Uh, looking for um, the fertility, so you want that pretty high, so you can have good agriculture. Uh, you want some fresh water uh, as well. And then, you know, open lands and forests. You want forests so that you can have uh, lumberjacks and whatnot. You want some mountains. Uh, particularly important for the Dundarians because they, so here we have 72.8% mountains, uh, 
because the Dundarians like living in the mountains. Um, I'm going to pause uh, the video here and go find a good spot for us to settle down um, that has the things that we need and that we want. And uh, we will pick up in just a moment here. All right. And I think I found a pretty solid place for us to settle down. Uh, I'm looking at the Donfold Deer Mountain over here, and there's a couple places. This place looks pretty good. Um, maybe like something like this, but really not a lot of places I can go here. Um, and then the other place was this place right here. So we've got 25% fresh water. We've got some mountains. We've got clay. The only thing we're missing is the um, Sithilian or And again, I as much as I want it for my colonists, I think doing it here is, is just going to be totally fine. Um, so let's go ahead and settle here and we will place our capital and set up our game here. So first things first, what are the empires going to look like here? We have a very Sturknati. Uh, we are very small. Um, and we have... We are surrounded by a lot of other empires here. Let's go ahead and regenerate the world a couple times here until we find something that's maybe a little bit more to our liking. Sterkati. Stern... Stern... Stirk Natty, Stirk Natty. Um, let's see, there's a couple free lands up here. Um, but I think maybe a few more rolls can get us something that's a little bit less um, populous up here. There's a lot of free lands kind of in the middle of the map right now. Um, and I'd like them maybe a little bit closer to us out here. Um, Let's see, uh, there's not really much there right now. Not a lot of free lands around us, and I kind of want a few more. Sterknati, okay, and now this is free lands up this way. Okay, this seems good. Um, okay, and this is what free lands as well. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Sturknati. And next we need to re-roll until we get a good map. Uh, now I want something that has, yeah, okay, lots of, lots of rivers here. This is good. Um, I want most of our, um, most of our, uh, ore and stuff here in the center of the map. Looking pretty good here, actually. Um, though I would like maybe... A few re-rolls here just to get maybe something a little bit nicer. And I'll be right back. Alright, I think I found a location that might serve us pretty well. So here, um, this map, um, it's still the same location. But we now have uh, a nice island here that we might be able to um, branch out to and sort of... Well, you know what, I don't really like this bridge over here. Maybe I'll, I'll keep rolling a little bit more until I find something that doesn't have that little land bridge right there. Alright, I think I found a good map for us. So, uh, what we have is kind of interesting. We have this river that sort of bisects the map um, in a number of different areas. We also have some sort of smaller uh, little creeks out this way. We have a nice island that we can fortify pretty easily if we have um, some areas here to defend. We could have some walls around the bridges or something like that um, and then defend on the bridges and I think that'll be kind of cool um, potentially. So for now I think what we'll do is settle put our camp down here. I think this will have to do it. I think that's good. Oh, why not? Ah. Uh, interesting. Okay. 
Um, all right, then let's put it over here for now, and we'll just sort of expand as we need to. Okay, so yes, put it here. This is our throne. This is where our, if we start the game, uh, our little Dundarians here are going to go and swear fealty to our throne. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, and let's go ahead and start setting up a few things. So I'm going to pause the game just for a moment, because as soon as we get going here, we're going to need some resources. We can see that um, there's a bunch of clay out this way. We've got some coal and iron, stone, and uh, other stuff here on this side. So all relatively within reach. We'll want to make sure that we are collecting. So go here and forage for these. Um, forage this. And I don't think we can reach this. I don't think there's a way to get to that. Nor is there a way to get to these mushrooms, I don't think. Yeah, it looks like this is sort of cutting it off. And this is deep water here. And that's mountain, so there, there's no way to get there. Maybe by going all the way around, but... For now, we'll just rely on these vegetables, and that'll have to be enough. Things that we want to do outside of the vegetable gathering. Uh, so that is going to take hopefully take care of our food. We have a little bit of homelessness. We also need some... Let's see. Go to a well. Uh, and let's go ahead and get a well here. So we can get a well here like this. And then let's do a hearth as well. So the well is going to allow us to have... Um, water that our villagers can come grab and drink out of. And the hearth is going to give them some warmth if they, uh, if they get cold during the winter. We'll build some roads around... Hmm. I, I don't really want to build the roads. We mostly need to focus on just building these um, for now and maybe even getting... Hmm. Things have been switched around a little bit, so I'm I'm gonna take a second here to uh yes, here, reorient myself. We'll get some houses go go in here as well. Um we'll make them out of the stone. Dundarians like stone, so this is um a, a good and fine thing to do. Um let's build you Build you here. Build something like this. Um, and we can do another... A few more like that. Okay. So we're going to get a couple houses built out here. We'll have a nice little plaza set up here. We can go ahead and do a little bit of decoration here if we want. Um... But let's just keep the number of tasks limited. We only have the ten folks right now. Um, and we want to... Hmm... Maybe get a fishery going down here. I think that would be good. Let's see... Fishery would be here. Aquaculture, fishery. Um, there are no little fish symbols here. That's not good. Um, maybe we just fish out here. There's a few fish symbols. It's not a lot. There's more up here. A lot out this way, so it would be good to get across to this island at some point. Or any of these islands, really. Um, this would... Give us something. Four fishermen. Mm. It's 
pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, we could do this. It's not particularly ideal. Six fishermen. Deep sea, 20%. We're just not getting much out of this over here. Uh, maybe a little bit more up here, though. This actually seems more promising. There we go. Okay, that's still just four fishermen. Five... We can keep going. Grab these, I suppose. Okay. So nine fishermen, then. We could then do a little bit like that. Yeah. Okay. Nine fishermen, then. Uh, and we'll just have to be content with it for now. We don't need a huge stockpile here. We can do something small, and then li likely that should be... Well, that should be enough right there. Okay. Storage. Yeah. Do that, and then the auxiliary here. Perfect. Great. Construct the fishery. And then we'll do a warehouse on this side. So our villagers have started to um, clear out the space underneath these blueprints here. And they are clearing out the stones and stuff that are... And the rocks that are here. Uh, we can speed things up just a little bit. When do these, when are they ready to harvest? So they are late summer. Okay, we've got some time before we can go harvest there. Okay, good. And we're working on building out the rest of these wells here. We're going to want to collect some wood as also. Uh, this all just requires stone, but this requires wood. Um, and we don't have any wood, so let's go ahead, and if I click, control click on a mountain anywhere, it brings up the, um, sort of harvesting and sort of world terrain changing menu. Uh, so we can go ahead and just select fell trees here. You can also find that under this here, fell trees. Cut these two down, though, they're kind of nice. Maybe, maybe we leave them there. Okay. There was some wood here. Alright, finish clearing out the rest of the this space here. Our villagers are very much dedicated to clearing out all the stones. Almost there. Okay, and this, this house is ready to go. Just about. We need to build the roof on it. Perfect. And now a few of our villagers will be able to live in here. There we go. Okay. Finish it up. There we go. And that will house three people. So here we'll be able to house 12 people in total. Finish this up. We'll have a few small apartments out here. Okay, yes, and they're, you can see that they're starting to build and add in um, some of their furniture as they move into the houses. This is, yeah, another vacant for another three here. Perfect. And we are going to collect some wood here. Perfect. There's almost a hundred stone here. Wild. Um, let's build one more structure here. We'll also build a warehouse. I think the warehouse can go... Um... 
the very least, it can go like this 2 by 9. Um, do something like this. A little bit more. Oh, that might be too much. So if it turns yellow, it suggests it's suggesting that there's not enough support in the structure. Um, so we want to be careful of that. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe put in just some small, smaller crates like this. There we go. And we can even bring this down even further and maybe expand it one more and do some crates like this. And then toss in a door here. I think that's good. Make it out of stone because we have a lot of stone laying around. Go ahead and build. Now, uh, let's take a look at some of the things that we've built. We've got our well here. Um... Um, Fretus, Fretus, isn't that the name of the, um, hold on, one moment. Okay, I was trying to think of Cerebus. Cerebus. Uh, Mount Waters. Cerebus is the mountain where the Dundarians come from, so Cerebus Mount Waters will be our first well. And this will be <coughs> the uh, the Cerebus the Cerebus deep warmth. Warmth. Yeah, Cerebus deep warmth uh, for our hearth here. Our villagers were not, will now move into this place. Yeah, the hearth. Okay, good. And we start working on the warehouse and the fishery. That's enough stone there. And hopefully they will now start to go get the... Get the get the vegetables there, because we are going to run out of rations here if we don't get the vegetables. Okay. Word five sixteen. Um, I think. Delete jobs. All right, let's get to work here. Okay, and we can finish up the warehouse here pretty quickly. Um, I didn't really talk very much about the uh, construction, and, and so let me just talk briefly about that. I'll just bring up um, one of these warehouses again, and we can kind of take a look at it. So here where it's yellow, it means that the, the structure is not stable, um, but that doesn't mean you can't build the structure. You can still build it but it's going to cost you more resources to build it ultimately. So um, here we can see that it's going to cost 33.3 additional uh, resources to build the structure, and we can reduce that as we um, reduce the, um, you know, the, reduce the size of the structure so that it's manageable. Now obviously you can build supports in here to sort of reduce that, um, it just, you know, creates uh, additional sort of uh, need for for taking care of your buildings here. So we can go ahead and just delete that um, that blueprint for now. But that's just a uh, that's a that's a tip as you're sort of building these structures. Um, you want to make sure if you if you are using some valuable resources to build them that you uh, are maybe not um, overextending structures and using a ton of resources that you don't have a lot of. Um, have we started going for the vegetables? No, we have not. Uh, and I would like for us to do that. Um, uh, 
Okay. Well, what are we going to do about that, then? I need to... The Dondarians. There's a research tree here. A lot of things to research. This is our diplomacy and the factions and status. This is where we currently stand. Um, this will be... Um... Oh, Cerebus. Um. Cerebus. Rest. And this will be... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice flag there. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Is there a way to color masks? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll go with sort of a lightish pink there, foreground. Whoops, okay. Um, well, we can play around with that a little bit more here. I see, okay. We'll do something like this. Order can be dark like this. I like it. Okay. Cerebus Rest, ruler name, Pebble. Good. We can save this as a default. I like it. Um, and then, in terms of tasks, I want to set you to do priorities hunters hmm see foraging it doesn't seem to be here and I don't know how to get it to master priorities no 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 vegetable farming Okay. I'm a little concerned about this. Yes, and you will now go for the vegetables, yeah? Okay, fantastic. That's what we needed to see. Them coming down here to grab the veggies. So we're gonna pause this construction for now. Yes, look at them come. Grab some more vegetables. And then we'll have food to eat in the winter, hopefully. We'll have to scavenge. And of course, we'll be able to have some, some fishermen as well. A very small amount of fishermen, but a few fishermen nonetheless. Okay, good. Alright. There we go, that's great. Now, yes, you'll come down here for these other vegetables, and that's important. We need this. Alright, and then once fall is over, or, or late spring is over, we'll go ahead and start. Or late summer is over, we'll go ahead and... Um, get back to construction here. Okay, and this is almost done. 
perfect. Okay, good. And now we can get to work on this and we'll have some fish coming in as well in the winter. So we are slowly, slowly getting, um, getting our colony set up here. The storehouse will allow us to store a variety of resources in here. So because we have vegetables, I'll put a little bit one rack of everything for now. Yeah, just do one rack here of everything. Okay. We don't have that much space. <laughs> uh, and that's fine. We don't currently... We're not going to have any wine nor, e nor eggs. We're not going to have any cotton nor leather, I think. We're not going to have any of this. Um, that one might be valuable. Uh, tools. I don't really have any weapons or anything like that yet. Maybe we can do something here. Um, and this will be... Village. Shack. Um, village resource shack. Hmm, do I want it to be Cerebus's rest? No, I don't want it. I think I think I just want it to be... We'll call it Cerebim. In honor of Cerebus. And then we'll call this... Cerebim Resource Shack. Yeah, there we go. I like that better. Alright, and they're working on the fishery, so that'll get up and running here soon, too. Yes, folks taking skinny dipping in the water. That's nice. Definitely approve. Um, and then there is, um, yes, there's, I've, I'm, I've got some extra land selected here that we don't need to grab up. And so we can just do that. Okay. There we go. And we've got our resource shack. We've got our water and our warmth. We've got our four houses here that are allowing us to stay nice and cozy. Um, this means, I think the plus two means we have two spare houses, which is nice. And uh, the, the fishery is almost done here. We've got the storage all built and the rest of it. Um, this will be the channel fishery. And we'll have nine folks work there, yeah? Just so that we have some food. Uh, one person can work here. And, um... Okay, so now we've got a nice little fishing village set up. Our villagers will fish at the channel fishery. Collect as many fish as they can. Um, they will bring that to the Sedevim resource shack. And the delivery man there will go and grab what resources they can. Um, yes. Make some more room for this. And we could upgrade here. We need 45 furniture. Uh, we don't currently have any furniture or any way to produce it. So maybe we'll build that next. Um, we could build a speaker. I think that's a good idea. Uh, that'll allow our villagers to have a little bit of entertainment. Um, and then we should build a mass grave as well. Um, I think that should go out over here for now. Or maybe we'll just do it here. Yes. Um, and anything else at this point? No cannibal, no woodcutter. We'll want a hunter at some point and some farms, but we don't really have uh, the capacity for right 
for that right now. We need we we're gonna need that furniture first and foremost. Um, we're almost full up on stone and wood again, and uh, we finally got some fish here. That's great. Um, did we bring in some rations? No, we we've, we've pretty much used up all of our rations. Okay, good. Bring in the rest of the stone that we have here. You're gonna go grab some more fish. Perfect. Okay. Um. Okay, and go yeah, go collect the wood. That's good too. And then those vegetables, yeah? Don't forget the vegetables. Well, with that, I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for watching uh, the first installment of this guide slash tutorial. We're going to go through a lot more here in the next episode, but this is sort of what you want to be thinking about as you start your first village, especially on uh, hard plus difficulty. You want to make sure that you uh, are going into winter and into your future years with uh, some food production. Whether that's fish, whether that's a farm, um, whether that's through harvesting more food. We have uh, a fair amount of vegetables here, so we'll still have... Uh, we do have a, a good bit of food here that we can um, take advantage of. But I will see you all in the next one. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Bye.